I've been contemplating for a while now about what the biggest plot hole is that I've ever encountered. The answer lies within the ending of Mass Effect 3, but I'm not sure if it even counts or not because the details surrounding it are quite vague and muddled. The plot hole that I'm referring to is contingent upon whether the Reapers actually target the synthetics during each cycle. Now, some of you may have just assumed that they only targeted the organics in each cycle and left the synthetics alone, and some of you may have thought otherwise. For those of you who thought that they left the synthetics alone, I was right there with you. The Catalyst only referred to the organics being harvested into Reapers in the conversation Shepard had with him. But then he presented us with the synthesis option of fusing organic and synthetic DNA together into every being in the galaxy, so is this supposed to mean that he finds the synthetic DNA valuable all of a sudden? In Mass Effect 2, Harbinger says this line. Death and annoyance. Limited utility. What do you mean, limited utility? Are the Geth valuable enough to harvest or not? You don't make that clear. The tone of the phrase seems to indicate that the Geth aren't valuable to Harbinger, but it's so confusingly worded that I'm not as certain as I'd like to be. I understand that the Geth are only one type out of many synthetic beings over the course of the innumerable Reaper purge cycles, but I think it's safe to conjecture that Harbinger, and therefore the Reapers, would view most other types of synthetic beings in the same manner as they do the Geth, because aren't synthetics all comprised of the same basic material, more or less? It wouldn't matter much from a practical perspective anyway, because it's safe to assume that at least some of the synthetics inhabit the same planets as their organic creators, so the Reapers would be destroying them right alongside the organics in every purge cycle anyway. Regardless, I think the confusion lies in the fact that Mac Walter simply wasn't paying enough fucking attention while he wrote this turd of an ending. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to continue under the impression that the Reapers don't target the synthetics, even though there clearly is room to argue otherwise just based on how confusingly the issue is presented. So do they harvest the synthetics? Do they not? What the fuck difference does it even make, right? Well, allow me to explain. The Reapers wipe out and harvest all but the most primitive organic species, retreat back into dark space, and leave all the supposed dangerous synthetics in the same galaxy as the primitive organic species for some bullshit reason, because it's a bullshit plan. Okay, well, if the synthetics truly pose as much of a threat as the Catalyst claims, then his entire plan to preserve all organic life in existence depends solely on the synthetics not finding the primitive organic species. Surely the synthetics would have discovered the location of where the remaining organics were living if this has been the Catalyst's plan for all the past thousands of purging cycles. And even if the synthetics miraculously never found out about the organics, where the hell did they all go? Why has there been no mention or discovery of any synthetic beings that were made by organics in the entire Mass Effect trilogy other than the Geth? Either they all got sucked into a black hole of shitty writing because Mac Walters forgot about them, or they were somehow defeated by the organic species during each cycle, which leads to the biggest problem with all of this. The organic species is left alive during each cycle, and the remaining synthetics must have come into contact with each other, and the organic species must have always defeated the synthetics. Otherwise, the entire cycle in which the Mass Effect trilogy is set would never exist because the organics would have all been killed off in the second cycle. Do you see where I'm going with this? Let me put it to you this way. The Catalyst's argument is that synthetics will always overtake and destroy their organic creators. In the current cycle, the only instances in which the Geth ever harmed an organic for reasons other than self-defense were when they were under influence from the Reapers themselves, so there is no evidence to support the Catalyst's argument throughout the entire time period in which the trilogy is set. But the plot hole I discovered actually proves that this was never a problem in any of the previous cycles either, because the primitive organics that were left alive in a given cycle presumably always defeated the leftover synthetics from the cycle before. Otherwise, all organic life would have been eradicated before the end of the second cycle, and thus the entire story featured in the Mass Effect games would never exist. Even if the organics decided to make their own synthetics after the leftover synthetics attempted to kill them, wouldn't the organics be able to defeat the synthetics they themselves created if they already did so with the leftover synthetics? Where's the threat against organics? What the hell have the Reapers been doing the last billion years? Like Sovereign from the first Mass Effect game, don't the Reapers always leave someone behind to monitor and keep tabs on the development of the civilizations in each cycle? Why would the Reaper tasked with monitoring the organics and the Catalyst still deem the synthetics as a threat if the organics have defeated the leftover synthetics every single time? <laughs> I don't know guys, something about this just isn't adding up. 
What makes this so terrible is that the existence of the current cycle and thus the story of the Mass Effect trilogy depend on the organics being able to defeat the synthetics in every cycle, which is in complete opposition to the Catalyst's entire argument that synthetics will always destroy organics. The leftover synthetics may as well have been friends with the organics all along in every cycle and it would prove the Catalyst to be just as pinheaded as he already is and change absolutely nothing about the story at all. The bottom line is that the entire existence of the Mass Effect trilogy depends on the Catalyst's plan being moronically, blatantly wrong. If this is in fact what's going on here, which a lot of the dialogue involving Harbinger and the Catalyst seem to confirm, then this is the biggest plot hole ever made because it invalidates both the Catalyst's argument as well as the purpose of the Reapers. It completely strips this ending of any remaining credibility or coherence that it ever had. This just helps to confirm two things. One, this is still the worst ending ever made. And two, if you're looking for the biggest plot holes in any movie, play, TV show, book, or video game, you will never find any bigger than in the Mass Effect 3 ending.